Namaskaram. Hari Om. This is Ravi Gundlapalli. I'm going to be hosting today's session of the Global Festival of Oneness, celebrating the life and works of Jagat Guru Adi Shankaracharya. This is a month long festival happening with two sessions every day that started on Sankar Jayanti and every day at 7 a.m. Indian Standard Time and 7 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Thank you all for joining. Gurur Brahma, Gurur Vishnu, Gurur Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. I am really honored to introduce our speaker today, Maha Mahopadhyaya Swamini Brahma Prakashananda Saraswati, Chief Acharya. Swamini Saraswati is a disciple of Pujya Sri Swami Dayananda Saraswati, the founder of Arshavidya Peetam in Rishikesh and Arshavidya group of institutions that are present all over the world. She came to be the disciple of Pujya Swamiji from a very young age. In her Purvashramam, she had many years of clinical practice after her MD. So she, is a, she was a practicing doctor in obstetrics and gynecology. She also pursued the study of Paninya Vyakaranam and other texts for over 12 years from Sri Bhandari, a Sanskrit scholar from Dahanu Maharashtra. She joined Ashavidya Gurukulam Anaikati Koimbatur for a long-term course in 90, was a Sanskrit teacher in this course, and then continued to teach Vedanta and Sanskrit at the Anaikati Gurukulam under the guidance of Puja Swamiji and Acharya Swami Siddha Bodhananda Ji. In 2001, when Puja Swamiji started a Gurukulam in Vedapuri in Nagpur, Maharashtra, at the request of Dr. Srikanth Jikar, Jichkar, she was sent as the main teacher and administrator of the place. Since then, she has been the chief Acharya of Dr. Srikanth Jichkar Memorial Asha Vijnana Gurukulam. This is the wonderful lineage that we should be very proud of in the Bharat, this Guru Sishya Parampara. She was awarded the title of Maha Mahopadhyaya by Kavikula Guru Kalidas Sanskrit University, Ramtek. Today's topic is titled The Doctrine of Alata Shanti in Gaudapadacharya's Mandukya Karika. Gaudapadacharya is the grand guru of Jagat Guru Adi Shankaracharya. Adi Shankaracharya's guru is Govinda Bhagavad Pada and Govinda Bhagavad Pada's guru is Gaudapada. So today, let us listen from Maha Mahopadhyaya Swamini Brahma Prakashananda Saraswati. She will be joining us via video because of technical issues. Uh, her ashram is in a deep forest and because of the power cut, she, she actually has empowered us with foresight and sent us a recording of her talk. Let's listen to her and learn from her wisdom. Om Shuklam Bharadharam Vishnum Shashivarnam Chaturbhujam Prasannavadanandhyayet Sarvavignopashantaye Saraswati Namastubhyam Varade Kamarupini Vidyarambankarishyami Siddhir Bhavatume Sada Om Shanti 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 Sada Shiva Samaram Bham Shankaracharya Madhyamam Asmadacharya Paryantam Vande Guru Paramparam Shutis Pratipurananam Alayam Karunalayam Namami Bhagavat Padam Shankaram Loka Shankaram Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Kritau Vande Bhagavantau Punaf Punaha Ishvaro Guru Ratmeti Murti Beda Vibhagine Vyoma Vat Vyapta Dehaya Dakshina Murta Yenamaha Gukaras Tundakaro Vai Rukaras Tani Vartakaha Andakara Niroditvat Guru Ritya Bidi Yate Parabram Nishtam Swato Dharmanishtam 
अहिंसकनिष्ठ स्वशिष्य जुष्ट यतीना वरिष्ठ गुरूनांगरिष्ठ दयानंदाचार्यमीडे दयानंदाचार्यमीडे ओ सहनावतु सहनौ भुन सह वीरवाई तेजस्वी नवदीतमस्तुमाषा वह ओं शाति 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 नमस्ते एवरीबडी टुडे मै टॉपिक इज द डॉक्टर ऑफ अलांत शांति इन द गौड़पद कारिका ऑफ द मांडुक्य उपनिषद द मांडुक्य उपनिषद इज अ वेरी स्मॉल उपनिषद विथ ओनली ट्वेल्व मंत्रास विच गिव्स द एंटायर नॉलेज ऑफ अद्वैत जीव ब्रह्म ईक्यम in those 12 verses using the avastha traya prakriya so bashikara introduces the karikas that gaudapada acharya wrote for these 12 verses in four sections agama prakaranam vaitatya prakaranam advaita prakaranam and alata shanti prakaranam bashikara says ओंकार निर्णय द्वारेण आगमत प्रतिज्ञात अद्वैत ब्रह्म विषय भेद वैत बाह्य विषय भेद वैत सिद्ध से पुनः अद्वैते शास्त्रयुक्ति साक्षात्धारित उत्तम सत्यम उपसंहार कृत अंत सो दिसलात शांति प्रकरण इस उपसंहार प्रकरण Un- originally the upanishad established the advaitam vastu atma brahma bhuta advaitam vastu iti through the 12 verses so agamatah pratignyatasya which was first mentioned through the agama that is veda that is upanishad that is what advaitam and what is that advaita bahya vishaya veda vaitatyaccha that all the bahya vishayas in waking and in the dream they don't really exist they are mithya vaitatyam means mithyatvam mithyatvam of the bahya vishaya was established through the vaitatya prakaran he established what was given in the shruti through agama prakaranam then established everything is mithya whatever is in the jagrat is also mithya as mithya as what is it is there in the swapnam through from known to the unknown he dismissed the satyatvam of the entire prapancha through the vaitatya prakaran logically then when that was established in with the advaita prakaranam through shastra and yukti he established again the advaita tattvam establishing ajati that there is no any jati creation no second thing at all iti through shastra and yukti he established then this uttamam satyam this advaita tattvam is the final to prove this he wrote the alata shanti prakaran bashakara continues tasya etasya agamarthasya अद्वैतदर्शन से प्रतिपक्षभूता दैति वैनाशिकाश्च दिस् आगम अद्वैतदर्शन विच इज टोल इन द आगम इन द उपनिषद दट अद्वैतदर्शन ईज द अब्सल्यूट ट्रूथ बट देर आर् मेनी कंटेडर्स टू दिस् ट्रूथ दे आर् आल दैति all the people who accept veda as a pramana those those people all are dvaitins and those who don't accept the veda they are also dvaitins because anything advaitam is the truth 
If you don't accept the Advaitam, anything else you say about that Advaitam is Dvaitam only. So, these are Pratiksh, Pratipaksha Bhutaha are Dvaitinaha and Vainashikash. Then what happens is, each of them have their own view, their own contention, what it is. So, he says, Teshamcha Anyonya Virodat Ragadveshadi Kleshaspadam Darshanam Mitya Darshanatvam Suchitam Iti Mitya Darshanatvam Suchitam Klesha Anaspadatvat Atmaikatva Buddhihi Eva Samyak Darshanam Iti Advaita Darshana Stutaye. What Gaudapadacharya does here is, he lets each of them argue with the other and each of them dismiss the other due to their own Raga Dvesha, their own contentions which they are very attached and the Dvesha they have for the other person's contention. And finally, when both of them on either side dismiss each other, what remains is that which can never be dismissed, that is the Advaita Darshanam. In this manner, the Advaita Darshanas, this entire chapter, he is meant for praising the Advaita Darshanam, iti Bhashakara says, Advaita Darshanas Tutaye. And we Advaitins don't have any Raga or Dvesha for any one of them. Because whatever they say is Mithya. So where is the question of having Raga or Dvesha for this? For them, what they say is Satyam. What the other fellow says is not Satyam for them. So they have Dvesha for that and Raga for their own contention. But we are not touched by this Raga Dvesha in our understanding. Therefore, when all of them have finished dismissing each other, what remains is only Advaita Miti. That is the tone and the note Gaudapadacharya is taking in this section. All the Shastras in the Astika Darshanas are all of them are Dvaitins. For them, the Drik, the Seer, the Drishyam, the Object and Ishwara, all are Satya. Differences between them are all Satya. And each Atma is Satyam and there are many Atmas. So they are all Dvaitins only. The Anastika, in the Anastika Darshanas, mainly the Bauddhas, they accept also all the Bahyartha is Mithya. So we feel, oh, they say what we are saying. But for them, Atma is also Mithya. Or for the Shunyavadin, Atma doesn't exist at all. So, therefore, there is a big difference between the two groups. What Gaudapadacharya does is, he starts with Sankhya and Nayaika arguing with each other, then continues to dismiss all of them one by one, continues to dismiss the Bauddhas also one by one. And finally, after dismissing all of them, he presents what remains, which is only Advaita Darshanam. Sush Bhashikara says, Tadiha Vistarena Anyonya Virudhataya Asamyak Darshanatvam Pradarshya Tat Pratishedena Advaita Darshana Siddhihi Upasam Hartavya Avita Nyayena Yeti Alata Shanti Prakaranam Arapyate. So all of them, Vistarena Anyonya Virudhataya, in detail each of them are negating each other. All of them are Asamyak Darshanam. They are not proper understanding. Iti, Pradarshya, having shown Tat Pradish Pratishedena Advaita Darshi. By dismissing all of them because they dismiss each other, Advaita Siddhi happens. Iti, Avita Nyayena. By Vyatireka Nyaya, not Anvaya Nyaya, Vyatireka Nyayena, Upasam Hartavya. Advaita Siddhi has to be concluded. With this understanding, Alata Shanti Prakaranam Arabhyate. This Avita Nyaya is a Vyatireki Anumana. It is interesting uh, because exactly that is what is the way the, the entire Advaita Shastra is presented in this Prakaranam. That is, we see, take the general uh, Anumana. We will say Yatra Yatra Dhumaha Tatra Tatra Vannihi Yata Mahana Sadhav. That is, wherever there is smoke, there would be fire. So, here now there is a smoke, I see on the mountain. So, there should be fire. So, we use the Anvaya Vyapti here. The Vyapti was Anvayam. That is, there is 
धूम वेर एवर देर इज धूम देर इज फायर इति पॉजिटिवली वी यूज द व्याप्ति एंड द एग्जांपल वाज पॉजिटिव दैट इन द किचन देर इज धूम देर इज स्मोक एंड देर इज फायर नाउ द सेम थिंग द फायर ऑन द माउंटेन कैन बी सेम थिंग कैन बी प्रूव्ड बाय अ व्यतिरेकी न्याय व्हाट इज दैट इफ देयर वाज नो वन्नी देयर वुड बी नो धूम हियर we see dhuma therefore we we infer there is vanni there there is smoke therefore we infer there is fire but where there we used wherever there is smoke there should be fire iti a positive vyapti we used here we are saying if there was no fire there would be no no smoke but there is smoke here therefore there should be fire so this is the vyatireki vyapti सो बै आवीत न्याय व्यतिरेक न्याय दिस अद्वैत दर्शन हेज टू बी कंक्लूडेड वि दिस अंडर्स्टैंडिंग अवर गौड़पदाचार्य प्रसेंट्स दिस एंटर अलात शांति प्रकरण इन दट हि गिव्स टू वर्सेस एस मंगलाचरण सो अगेन शंकर इंट्रड्यूस उपदेश नमस्कार मुखेन ज्ञान ज्ञेय ज्ञातृभेदरहित परमात्तत्वदर्शन इह प्रकरण प्रतिदयिषित प्रतिपक्षेदेण प्रतिज्ञा सो इज से उपदेश नमस्कार हू इज उपदेश द फाइनल गुरु इज ईश्वर फस्ट गुरु इज ईश्वर सो बै डूइंग अ नमस्कार टू ईश्वर एस्टाब्लीशिंग ज्ञान ज्ञेय ज्ञात ज्ञाता ज्ञान ज्ञेय इसी त्रिपुटी दट भेद इज नाट देर इन दिस दर्शन इन दिस नॉलेज परमार्थ तत्व दर्शन दट विथ दैट विच डस् नाट हेव दिस ज्ञाता ज्ञान ज्ञेय डिफरेंस इज नाट देर देर इज ओनली वन वस्तु विच इज सत्यम शोइंग दिस इह प्रकरण प्रतिदयिषित दिस इज वाट इज डिसड टू बी एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन दिस प्रकरण but how is it going to be done by pratipaksha pratisheda dwarena by negating all the pratipakshas who are against this oneness this gnyatha gnanam gnayam oneness those who are against by negating them this is established through that gauda padacharya is going to present this prakarana so bhashikara writes like this in the bhashyam for his own parama gurus karikas mashikara introduces the entire alata shanti prakaranam in this manner and he says this particular fact is presented in the first mangalacharanam gnanena akasha kalpena dharman yo gaganopaman nyeya binnena sambuddaha tam bande dvipadam varam so ba gaud padacharya das salutation to ishwara narayana akya purushottamah as dvipadam varam the one who is the most exalted of all the dvipat people with two legs that is all human beings devatas all of them who is he he is always sambuddha he is always aware he is always never away in knowledge he is never away from this entire universe he is always sambuddha how nyaya binnena without being different from what is known if you say ishvara is sarvagnya he knows everything then his knowing is different from what i think i know i know this spot i know this mountain it is different when i say i know this mountain then i take myself to be the pramata the knower nyatha then the mountain to be nyayam it is different and i know it as different but ishvara is always knows the entire universe as what nyaya binnena he is not other than the nyayam he is the nyayam and he is the gnata no difference is there so nyaya binnena that means what there is no vritti gnanam in ishvara's knowledge in this swaprakasha swatasiddha chaitanyam he he is in the form of that everything is included in that it is only upachara to know that he knows he is sambuddha 
he is only to say upacharaha that is why he is he is sambuddha means he is always in the form of the swaprakasha swatas siddha chaitanyam and what are all the things he knows like this knows coat within coat knows what all the dharmas all the jivatmas who are all gaganopama they are also vibhu all pervasive because they are not different from that ishvara that vastu and with what gnanam he knows gnanena akasha kalpena that gnanam itself is all pervasive it's only through consciousness he knows as though knows not different from him to that ishvara i salute it he presented his whole uh, knowledge that he want to give in this in this prakarana he presented in this verse then he praises the knowledge itself now as asparsha yoga asparsha yogo vai nama sarva sattva sukohitaha avivado viruddhascha deshitaha tam namam yaham asparsha स्पर्शनम स्पर्शः संबंधः न विद्यते यस्य इज अस्पर्शः दैट योगा व्हिच योगा मींस दैट नॉलेज इन व्हिच देयर इज नो कनेक्शन ऑफ द ट्रुथ विद एनीथिंग एल्स मींस एवरीथिंग इज वन दैट इज व्हाई देयर इज नो सेकंड थिंग टू गेट कनेक्टेड इफ यू से कनेक्शन मीन टू थिंग्स शुड बी देयर दैट्स व्हाई दिस नॉलेज इटसेल्फ इज कॉल्ड अस्पर्श योग अस्पर्श योग केनचित कदाचित अपि न संबंध विद्य अस्पर्श योग दट इज वाट ब्रह्मस्वभाव एव देर फोर दिस अद्वैत दर्शन ईज वेरी वेल नोन अमंग ब्रह्म विद्स एज अस्पर्श योग एंड वाट इज इट सर्व सत्व सुख हित इट इज ऑलवे सुख स्वरूप एंड वाट कैंड ऑफ सुखम ऑल सुखम इज सर् सत्व ओनली but it is sarva sattva sukham sukham which is in the form of all sattva only sattva no rajas no tamas and sukaha that sukham sarva sukaha it is bahuvrihi sarva sukham asmin asti iti sarva sattva sukaha asmin asti iti it is an advantage it is an adjective for the asparsha yoga that which will give this sarva sattva sukha all the time to us and what is that hitaha that which is always doing good to us parama shreyas padam that is this yoga it is hitam also it gives that absolute sukham only sukham which can be absolute and always sukham and always hitam because many times what is sukham to us may not be hitam to us but this is always sarva sattva sukaha yoga and it is always hitam for us and it is avivadah is also bahuvrihi like meaning aviva vivadah yasmin navidyate iti avivadah there is no possible dispute possible with this Ad- advaita darshanam because whatever anybody is going to dispute is mithya so it is not going to touch this advaita tattvam therefore it is avivadah similarly it is aviruddah it is not opposed to anything because anything anybody is going to say opposed that thing is mithya so where is it going to be opposed that's not the true with the dvaitin he says advaitam is opposed to me and then he says i am separate all the beda is satyam jeeva jagat beda jeeva jeeshwara beda jag, jag, in the jagat and uh, each objects in each the jagat is also beda i think he is saying beda all the time so for him it is always everything is viruddha other than that everything is viruddha for him for the advaita darshanam nothing is viruddha also because whatever you can conceive of as a viruddha or as a contention that really does not exist therefore avivadah aviruddha iti deshitah it is taught like this tam deshitah yaha yogah tam yogam namami aham i salute this knowledge also because this knowledge has to bless me i have to become one with this knowledge he salutes the knowledge also this aviruddhah is a very important thing because this is typical to similar to the avirodha adhyaya in the brahma sutra all the purupakshas are negated in the avirodha adhyaya because why they have virodha to each other we have no virodha with them there is no virodha at all that is why aviruddhah avivadah 
very beautiful point it will look like actually the advaitan is contending with everybody else no he is not contending with anybody else he is only stating his own truth everybody else is contending with him and contending with each other and dismissing with each other so uh, gaudapa padacharya is saying this yoga is so worshipable because it is avivadaha aviruddha iti then he proceeds over many verses till 30th verse till the 30th verse to present how each of them dismiss each other first he takes Sak- sankhya and the nayayika dismissing each other then he dismisses them both of them together stating his stand they are dismissing each other then he states his stand what ajati there is no creation there is no srishti they are saying how the srishti comes about what is the nature of that srishti on that they are disputing then they dismiss each other then he says see that is why you have dismissed him and he has dismissed you therefore the truth is ajati there is no real creation there is no real creation mean there is no real sthiti there is no real laya all is included then he proves in in and through this discussion he proves there can be no karya karana bhava in atma brahma and the jagat also there can be no hetu palatmakam what is hetu and phalam he takes hetu and phalam as uh, uh, mutually one is hetu is phalam for the hetu is hetu he takes at the body mind sense complex sharira and the phalam is the karma you will do and you will get the karma phala adrishtam then the adrishtam is a hetu for this body body is a hetu for this adrishtam iti mutual he dismisses all of them then there is no mutual karya karana bhava iti that also he dismisses all of them he dismisses then he takes the bauddhas and he dismisses all of them using each others he dismisses all of them finally dismissing the vijnanavadi and the shunyavadi he dismisses all of them then he says there is no reality there is no real bondage so there is no real moksha also so this connection between moksha and bondage bondage and moksha is also not real the connection between bondage and moksha is also not real there is no real bondage and there is no real moksha all bondage is notional only the notion is removed then you are free you are never bound you think you are bound then you think you need to be free then when you understand i was never bound first then there is no any need for anything to do to become free so because if moksha was to be produced by something then that moksha will not be permanent because what is produced you will be limited in time then it will go away then if moksha cannot be produced then what is going to what is going to produce the moksha so therefore the bondage is notional moksha is notional moksha is never produced and never it is removed also iti he establishes that in the next verses after that he continues and finally comes to our topic of today through a very proper reasoning he comes to this alata drishtanta he comes so what he has established is that jati is not there ajati is the truth there is no birth of anything there is no creation there is no second thing coming into existence that is ajati jati means coming into existence ajati means not coming into existence the truth is ajati that is the truth if the truth is ajati then the question arises why does the shruti with great preparation and with great tatparyam gives brahma lakshanam in the form of srishti sthiti laya karanam like in taitriya upanishad the shruti gives yato vaimani bhutani jayante yena jatani jivanti yat prayanti abhi samveshanti yato vaimani bhutani jayante jati is told then sthiti is told yena jatani jivanti sthiti is told then yat prayanti abhi samveshanti the end they all enter this entering also we are going to later dismiss using the alata example so this jatyadi means jati sthiti and laya 
all these three that from which everything comes by which everything is sustained into which everything goes is brahma iti brahma lakshanam is told in the taitri upanishad sutrakara uses that for brahma lakshanam in his first sutra janmadhyasya yatah iti second sutra brahma lakshanam it gives then bhagavan also says aham sarvasya prabhavah i am the one from whom everything comes iti bhagavan also says in the gita puranas also talk about it then this verse says in spite of all that actually ajati is the truth that is being told now and then what about the world that i see what about all the vyavaharas that i do that is your problem that is what makes you think it is real so he is going to use a magical elephant a magic where the magician produces an elephant he is using that as an example and very logically he establishes there can be no jati at all so why do you think there is jati why do you think there is a creation srishti is there i am seeing it why two reasons we everybody will give that i can see it there is upalabdhi of all the different things this is what all the people who are entering into vedanta shastra portals of vedanta their biggest confusion is vedanta is saying all these things are not there at all but i am seeing can you say it is not there if i go and bang my head on the wall there is no wall this wall is satyam no mithya this ball wall is mithya so there is no wall so i will walk through the wall definitely you will bang your head you will have a mithya bang then you will have a mithya bump then you will have the mithya pain but you will say it is satyam that i bang the wall is satyam my head got a big bump is satyam i have pain now is satyam why it is there i can perceive wall can be perceived you told me it is mithya it is you told me it is mithya i understood it is not there i i i said only mithya the person understood not there mithya and not there are not the same so then you told me it is not there i hit it and i got the bump then i would say the bump is also not there pain pain is also not there this is the whole logic this is what beautifully gaudapada acharya presents so he says he presents first why anybody thinks outside objects are real world is real upalambat samacharat asti vastutva vadinam jatistu deshita buddhaihi ajate strasatam sada not only that like just now that person with whom i was he was arguing with me see i i thought it was not there and i got hurt all you to say is not true world is real i am real everything is real there is nothing like one advitiya vastu i don't want to know anything about any advitiya vastu they are afraid of this advitiya vastu advaita advaitat trasanti they get upset with the advaita vastu advaita darshanam they get upset trasanti means get upset they they cannot stand it they say no it's not true but why why do they do that because upalamba samacharat because it is available upalamba is upalabdhi it is available because it's available for me perception is there and samachara means i can do vyavahara with it simple meaning another uh, uh, next verse is uh, bashikara will say samachara will also mean all my duties and all my duties to this world duties to the veda the veda tells me what i should do the karma kanda my nitya naimittika karma all the acharas all of them are all real for me veda is very real for me what the veda says is very real for me and i am doing all that samachara yeah, how can i do samachara if there is only one vastu advitiyatvam is the truth i have to take the ahuti i have to put it in the fire and uh, the result is going to come to me everything only dvaitam is there all the karakas are all real for every every vaidika karma the karakas are real but you are saying that there is no only advaiti atvam is the truth of everything iti they are very upset when any ad- every karma kandin is very upset with the advaitin because according to him the advaitin is destroying the validity of the veda and the vedic rituals for him they say no we we can that means if you say everything is one then from tomorrow i don't have to do anything how can i be not doing 
actually it doesn't mean they don't do anything they can they, it means that they have to not do anything after knowing i am only the one vastu our body will continue our activities will continue we will be eating talking walking move, moving he can be doing the rituals also but just because there is this samachara there is performance of this ritual and just because i am doing my duties my acharas are there just because i see the different objects that is the reality is where we are telling him but these people are very upset with that so um गौडपदाचार्य सेस उपलंबा सामचारा अस्थिवस्तुवादीना अजाते त्रसता जाति देशिता बुद्ध सो इनिशियली यस एक्सेप्ट देर इज क्रिएशन हाउ डज दिस क्रिएशन कम अबाउट सो दट टीचिंग अबाउट द क्रिएशन इन ऑल द श्रुतीज इज नॉट टू एस्टाब्लिश द रियालिटी ऑफ द क्रिएशन it's not the rea- to establish the reality of the jati it is only to establish the reality is ajati the, the, it is a methodology of establishing the ajati so uh, he had said previously gaudapada acharya say upayaha sovataraya saha upadeshaha is an upaya for advaita buddhi avataraya for bringing about the advitiya buddh- advitiyatvam in your understanding initially as though everything is created adhyaropa apavada nyaya is used as though the jati is there then everything is nothing but that brahma when you understand everything is that brahma then this whole jati becomes as though jati no jati it's an upaya for making it understood that the reality is ajati no creation ekameva advitiyam vastu alone is a satyam which never moves which never changes remains the same in spite of the srishti coming in spite of the srishti sustaining and in spite of the srishti resolving back into this vastu really there is no jatihi iti to prove this as a initial step for the people who are at the outset very afraid of advait advit advaitam they are very upset with advaitam to make it available to them in steps it is told so buddhihi jatihi deshitah deshita jatistu deshita buddhihi ajatehe trasatam sada trasata they are always upset still they can get over that it is taught for them okay then what will happen to them they will continue to have do their all their nitya naimitika karma all the achara samachara everything and they will see the difference in order to do action you have to see the difference they will be continuing to see the difference and doing the actions but they will follow what they are shraddha dana ha they have great shraddha in the veda and the vaidika karma so they will remain within the fold of the veda within the dharma of the veda eventually they will understand what is ishvara even though they will not understand the oneness of this whole world as only one brahma vastu they will understand ishvara and they will understand ishvara as a nimitta upadana karanam abhinna nimitta upadana karanam of this jagat so they will understand everything is not other than ishvara and they will also then understand all my actions are aradhanam to this ishvara then slowly that living a life like this that is karma yoga living a life of karma yoga they will get the chitta shuddhi enough to get the purushartha viveka and to get the question what is the reality is it really true what i think is the true and they are following the vedas they will be reading brahma vidapnoti param atma vid shokam tarati then they will wonder how come it is said like that then that viveka will be born and they will be entering into the portals of vedanta the teacher will wait till then so that is why initially it is taught to them then what about suppose they never come into vedanta shastra at all what about them they will continue to do their duties and they will never do what is not to be done and then whatever dosha they will get will be very minimal and they will at the most will go to heaven enjoy some better experiences in another level of existence again come back with a mind to do all this and eventually will come into vedanta shastra so the the dosha they will get even if in this life they will never come into vedanta shastra 
into ajati, into advaita tattvam, then also the dosha will be minimal. Therefore, the Shruti with great kindness does the upadesha of jati, knowing fully well the, the reason for establishing jati is to establish a jati eventually by adhyaropa pavada. The Shruti is still teaching the jati to the people who are not ready for it. So, therefore, he says again, Ajate strasatam tesham upalambat viyanti ye jati dosha na setsyanti dosho api alpo bavishyati. Tesham for all those people who upalambat ajate he trasatam. Because everything is available to them, they are able to see the objects. So, because of upalamba, they don't like ajati, they don't like the advitiya tattvam. Therefore, what happens? Ajate he viyanti. They move away from the ajata, ajata tattvam, advitiya tattvam. They move away from that. But the jati dosha, the doshas, because of they accept jati as real, they don't really come to them too badly because they will be in sanmargastaha. They are in proper marga, they are in proper marga. Eventually, they will get punya and then they will get come to this knowledge. And even if any dosha comes, it will be alpa for the same reason because they have shraddha and they are in sanmarga as told by the Veda. Iti nicely Gaudapadacharya. See, everybody says Gaudapadacharya dismisses everything. He did not dismiss anything. He explained even for them the Shruti herself teaches jati and they will continue to do and eventually they will come to this Advaita knowledge and even if they don't come, their dosha will be minimum. How inclusive he is. This many people uh, do not uh, understand and they blame him that he dismisses everything. So, after saying, why do they people, why are they afraid of Advaitam? Why are they not able to accept Advaitam Tattvam? Is because Upalambat Samacharat. So, he is telling you, just because there is, you see it. And just because you are doing samacharanam, you are doing activity on, on, based on that. Now here samachara is, not, is a, in a general terms. That is, activity is possible in this. Arthakriya vatvam is there. For any object that I see, it has got a particular function. Particular vyavahara is possible for that iti. So he is giving the example of the, example of the elephant that a magician pro projects. You see there, Upalamba is there, Samachara is there, he is doing all the things with that elephant. So he says, just like the Maya Hasti, projected by a Mayavi, local Mayavi, projected by him, even though Upalamba and Samachara are there, it is not real, it is Maya Mayam, not Satyam. Like that, this world also is like that. That's what he is going to tell. So the next verse is, Upalambat Samacharat, Maya hasti yatauchyate upalambat samacharat asti vastu tatauchyate. Just because Maya hasti asti iti uchyate. Maya hasti asti iti uchyate. Yata. Yata Maya hasti asti iti uchyate. Why? Upalambat samacharat. These two. Upalamba, upalabdi, samachara activity. The similar manner, tata eva. Dvaita vastu, vastu means asti vastu means asti dvaita vastu iti uchyate vai upalambat samacharat. One line says maya hasti, second line for dvaita vastu. So I will read the little bashyam for this. Vashakara says everybody thinks upalamba and samachara is there, it should be real. But it need not be, because when you see a Maya Hasti, there is Upalamba and Samachara. But you don't, uh, uh, you, later it goes away, you will know that it was not real. So he says, Nanu, Upalamba Samachara Yoho Pramanatvat. It is Pramanam. Upalamba is a Pramanam for me to say something exists. Samachara is a Pramana for something for me to say, for me to say something is Asti eva dvaitam vastu iti, people say. But, na, na, it is not true. Why? Upalamba samachara yoho vyabicharat. This upalamba samachara don't remain the same all the time. They 
व्यभिचरति दे आर देयर फॉर सम टाइम देन दे आर नॉट देयर लाइक व्हाट खतम व्यभिचार इफ यू आस्क उच्यते उपलभ्यते ही माया हस्ति माया हस्ति उपलभ्यते इट इज देयर माया हस्ति देन हस्ति इव हस्तिनम इव अत्र समाचरन्ति then that mahot behaves as though mahot is this magician only as though hasti is still there like what he does he does bandana arohanaadi hasti sambandhi bihi dharmaihi he acts as though hasti is there he is going and offering food to that he is tying it up then he is going and sitting on it he is making you making it do all the tricks for you so samachara also is there but finally he he waves one wand zu boom ba and there is no hasti there is nothing you will say it i could see it i could see all his activities even i could go and do the activity near it it touched it did like this to me also i went and said do namaskar to me he did that but this maya we removed the maya maya uparama took place the maya was negated by him by the same maya we who projected there is no hasti so there is vyabichara of upalamba and vyab and samachara for us where is vyabichara for upalamba and samachara in your deep sleep there is no upalamba of any object there is no samachara of anything but the world exists you exist they are relative because only when there is activity they seem to exist in the waking in the dream but i exist the vastu i am the only vastu which remains without changing in all in jagrit also i am shuddha chaitanyam saprakasha swata siddha chaitanyam in the dream also i am saprakasha swata siddha chaitanyam in the deep sleep also i am saprakasha swata siddha chaitanyam this is the only thing navya bicharati the waking world we abicharati upalamba samachara we abicharati the dream world we abicharati we उपलंब समाचार व्यभिचरती बट ई एक्सिस्ट देर फोर उपलंब एंड समाचार इज नो प्रमाण टू शो एनिथिंग रियली एक्सिस्ट दट इज गौड़पादाचार्य कंटेन्शन तथा उपलंब सचारात भेदूपम अस्ति वस्तु इति उच्यते बै पीपल बै मिस्टेक् बट they are not the hetu upalamba samacharas are not the hetu it is not true then how how did we see the upalamba samachara how did we have maya drishtya eva with reference to the hasti due to the maya drishti projected by the mayavi here in the world the maya drishti projected by this maya shakti of ishwara then parinami upadana karanam of this jagat that maya the prakriti the what we call prakriti that maya mayinam tu maheshwaram vidyat mayam tu prakritim vidyat mayinam tu maheshwaram we have seen that so that maya that makes this world come about maya herself is mithya she makes this world come about the all the world that comes about is also mithya and this maya causes ignorance in our antakarana we are our antakaranas are all products of this maya she puts her own avarna shakti on our antakaranas and doesn't does not let us see the truth as it is otherwise we should be seeing because atma is self evident always swaprakasha swata swata siddha chaitanya always we should we should be able to see that is the truth everything else is changing that is not the truth i should know every day i i am uh, conducting my business in the waking every day i am going to sleep and dreaming then in between sometime in the dream i know i am not dreaming also i wake up and say i did not know anything i had some dreams and i had did this i went in the dream i went to kashi and met somebody i saw the no vishwanatha mandir and i came back but when i wake up i was in my own place so i know the dream was not real as the dream was not real even this is not real then what is real only i am real i am the one who never changes this should be known to us just by daily living one's life going through the three avasthas in the avastha traya going through the avastha traya the way bhagwan has made this world the setup he has done we should know why we don't why don't we know because our antakaranas are subject to the avarna shakti of this maya 
and further vikshepa shakti for taking ourselves to be karta, bhokta, sukhi, dukhi, like that. So because of this, because we are under the influence of this effect of this maya, we don't see the truth. Therefore, he says, That is why we do not see. The truth is, the truth is, the Maya itself is not real. The, what Maya projects definitely is not real. Even in the example, in the example, the person who projected the Maya V, the magician, knows that that elephant was not real because he was on this side of the ignorance. He was on this side of the Maya. He was the one who projected this magic. And all his audience, they are on the other side of the Maya. So as long as this Maya is Maya, they are under the influence. They will think the Hasti is there. Now, for us, as long as our effect of the Maya Shakti on our Antakaranam is there, we will think this is all real. How will it go? The same Maya V Ishwara, Mayinam to Maheshwaram. He has given this Vedanta Shastra to us. When we understand the Vedanta Shastra, he has created the Sampradaya. Every teacher is available. You go to a teacher and the same Vedanta Shastra, Shabda Pramana is operated by the teacher and made. you are made to see. Then you go on the side of the mind and as, as in the example, local Mayavi, if you are on his side, you don't see that anything. If you are on his side, you are not under the influence of his Maya, you don't see the Maya. Like that, if with the knowledge you go on the other side, Ishwara's side you go, then you don't see the Maya, then there is no, there is Upalamba, Samachara still will continue. But you don't think Upalamba, Samachara, Dvaita Vastu is a reality, we don't think. So therefore he says, the Mayavi also knows the elephant was not real. Like that Ishwara's projection, this Maya, Ishwara also knows it is not real. You are on the other side, you are affected by that Maya. If you are on the side of Ishwara's reality, that you are nothing but Brahma, not other than Ishwara, all this thing is Mithya, then even you are not affected. This is the truth. Therefore, he says, what really is there is Jatyabhasam, Chalabhasam, Vastvabhasam, Tataivacha, Ajachalam, Avastutvam, Vijnanam, Shantam, Advayam is the truth. Jati is only an abhasa, it's only an appearance. Chalanam is only an abhasa, only an appearance. Vastu, Dvaita Vastu is only an appearance, abhasam. That is, that they are all only abhasa. Then what is real? Ajam, achalam, avastutvam, not in the form of any other object. Vijnanam, this consciousness which is ajam, achalam, not as in any limited object. Shantam, because it is all pervasive, changeless, avikriyaha, shantam, advayam, no second thing, that is the truth. That is the truth. Just like the maya hasti goes away on the maya goes away, mayo parame, here also mayo parame, avidyo parame, Bhashikara will say avidyo parame, I will say mayo parame, both are same, avidya, maya are same at that point that everything you will appreciate shantam advayam shivam that is the vastu iti you will appreciate so he says evam na jayate chittam evam dharma ajasmrataha evam eva vijanantaha na patanti viparyaye he gave the phalap also for the person who knows like this evam in this manner this manner means from beginning Whatever we have, they have, we had dismissed which we have not seen now. Karanakara bhava, karya bhava, hetupala bhava, moksha, bondage, all of them. And this, evam in this manner, jayat na jayate chittam. Chaitanyam is never born as anything else. In Then, therefore, evam, all the jivas are what? Nothing but that chaitanyam. Therefore, even though you think they are born, they are not born. Evam dharmaha jivatmanaha ajaha smritaha They have to be understood as they are not born. 
then they are not born there is no dukkham there is no sam samsaraha therefore evam eva vijanantaha those who know in this manner na patanti viparyaye iti he established everything then he now samsara sagare na patanti therefore ishavasya also says tatra ko moha ka shokaha ekatvam anupashyataha iti we know that now he brings the example of the alatha to prove that really ajaha smrata all the dharmaha are ajaha all the dvaitam is really not there he brings this concept of this alatha alatha then that's why he called the whole thing as alatha shanti in the whole prakarana he established this only that jatyadi is only abhasas and even those abhasas really don't have any existence that is where he is totally negating even jatyadi abhasa also he is negating that is where he uses the alatha shanti up to now he has given the established the mithyatvam of the jatyadi but he says they are all abhasa iti he has said like the maya hasti is an abhasa it's all abhasa he said he says even the abhasas are not there where what reality do the abhasas have the abhasas also don't have any reality to prove this he brings the alatha shanti example example it is not a drishtanta like a logical drishtanta which is a hetu for some vyapti but it is an imagery so what is the alatha i told you already alatha is the the ardha dagdha kashtaha ulmukaha a glowing tip in the form of a in the one stick which is glowing with fire at fire brand in english it is called fire brand ardha dagdha kashtaha it is called ulmukaha it is called all of us know it in the form of take an agarbatti which is burning in the tip only tip is glowing you may make all the movements with it you will get all the movements in that or a sparkler during deepavali in the night the sparkler is a bright part bright spot there you move that sparkler you will get all kinds of beautiful designs you can make with that so this every all of us have played with it as children we all know so with through the known to the unknown we all know all the designs that you draw all the patterns that you draw with that burning tip of either uh, the ulmukha that is a small wooden stick with a tip glowing or the sparkler our new example all those patterns what is the status of them you see them samachara you have you do but are they real they are not real you know very well they are not real what is real only the glowing tip is the real only that glow that glow of fire that one spot of fire that alone is real all the patterns are not real so this entire world is all like the patterns that are drawn with the alatha that is the imagery with which he is going to explain the glowing tip is vijnanam consciousness and all the patterns are this whole world which seems to come from this consciousness this is the imagery he is using then he is used to going to use many logic to first to prove in the alatha the abhasas don't exist and then he is going to say similarly the abhasas don't exist in vijnanam the consciousness iti he will conclude with this alatha shanti example just how the abhasas are all negated in the alatha all the entire universe is negated in the vijnanam in consciousness iti he will conclude so we'll see ऋजुवक्रादिकाभासम अलातस्पंदितम यथा ग्रहण ग्राहकाभासम विज्ञानस्पंदितम तथा ऋजु मीन स्ट्रेट लाइन विद दट अलात ग्लोइंग टिप यू कैन ड्रॉ स्ट्रेट लाइन यू कैन ड्रॉ अ सर्कल यू कैन ड्रॉ अ कर्वड लाइन यू कैन ड्रॉ अ वॉर्ल सो मेनी थिंग्स सो ऑल ऑफ देम ही रिप्रेजेंट बाय ऋजु वक्राधिक आभासम the patterns which are only appearances they are only appearances they have no substance see in the abhasa here what is understood there is no substance there so ruju vakradika abhasam alata spanditam alata spanditam they come out spun out of the alata they come out of the alata 
yata just as just as they seem to come about and you know even when you do it in the night with the bright this in your eyes the even though the moment has ceased another moment has started disappears for some time if you all have done it in the childhood you will remember that it remains for some time so but they have no substance other than that glowing tip so alata spanditam yata bhavanti just as they come out tata grahana grahaka abhasam vijnana spanditam tata grahana grahaka means grahaka the one who is a gnata grahanam the instrument with which you understand something grahyam is the object that you understand so grahana grahaka only two is given third has to be understood the triputi that is the gnata the gneyam and the gnanam gnata is a knower gneyam is object that is known and gnanam is a instrument with which you come to know the vritti gnanam that you with which you come to know so therefore grahana grahaka abhasam grahana grahya is understood in this that triputi is only an appearance and it is arisen out of the spandanam of the vijnanam not real spandanam spandanam eva spandanam bhashakara will say just like how because of the alata spandanam the ruju vakradi abhasas have come about exactly like that from the spandana viva spandanam of the vijnanam the consciousness the gnata gneyam gnanam iti the triputi a rupa abhasa of everything in this world has come about first statement he has made so shankara will say spanditam eva spandanam avidyaya avidyaya spanditam eva avidyaya mayaya as though spanditam as though they have appeared we have to take it like that nahi achalasya vijnanasya spandanam asti achalam vijnanam cannot have any moment therefore it is only as though moved by maya then he says aspandamanam alatam anabasam ajam yata aspandamanam vijnanam anabasam ajam tata when the uh, alata is not moving then it does not produce any abha- any abhasas so it is ajam it has not given birth to the abhasas so aspandamanam alatam alatam that that fire brand when it is not moving not at all moving it is there is only one glowing tip of that agni there is no pattern there is no abhasa at all so aspandamanam alatam is there is no abhasa in that anabhasam it is anabhasam it, it has not produce any abhasa abhasa na vidyate yasmin iti it has no abhasa in them and it is ajam nothing else is born out of it it is ajam so what aspandamanam alatam is anabhasam and ajam same way aspandamanam vijnanam the vijnanam which is changeless not keep not moving avikriyam aspandamanam vijnanam always anabhasam and always ajam so here there is one difference between the um, which is said in this verse one difference between the alata and the vijnanam the alatam can be moving at some time and cannot be moving at some time that's why he give two stage spanditam when the vijnan when the alata is spandit spandamanam all the abhasas are produced but when the alata is aspandamanam it is not moving then it is ajam when it is moving it produces the patterns when it is not moving it does not produce a pattern but vijnanam is always aspandamanam always anabhasam always ajam he will prove it in the coming verses first he prove he only equated just like the alata which is not spinning is not having any abhasas is not using any patterns similarly the consciousness which is changeless avikriyam nishkriyam does not have any abhasas in it and does not produce anything one then next keeping two two verses two verses for alata and two verses for for vijnanam he is proving all the abhasas the patterns with reference to the alata 
and this entire jagat with reference to vijnanam consciousness they really cannot be there in any way they cannot be real he proves that in these next four verses so he starts again with alata alate spandamane vai na vasaha anyato buvaha na tato nyatra nispandat nalatam pravishanti te so what is that alate spandamane vai indeed when the alata is spinning is moving the abhasas that are produced have not come from elsewhere they have not come anyato bhuvaha they are all produced somewhere and they have not come into the alata from somewhere else they have not come they did not have an existence apart from this alata they were already there and from there they did not come and get connected to this uh, alata iti so alate spandamane when the alata is moving the abhasas that you see they have not come from elsewhere first similarly na tato anyatra nispandat when the alata is not moving they did not leave the alata and go somewhere else first the alata was spinning the akaras are seen the abhasas are all seen the patterns are all seen they did not come from elsewhere then alata stopped there is no more patterns they did not leave the alata and go and exist somewhere else so that is nispandana nis na nispan na tato anyatra nispandat na tataha nispandat anyatra we should get one nirgataha we should add here extra then what okay they did not go elsewhere but did they enter into the alata like i enter into my house like that they enter into the alata no they don't enter into the alata na alatam pravishanti te that means even the laya what we talk about he is not entering as a separate entity entering this is dismissing of the laya that we say always laya no the world goes back into brahman get resolved back into brahman we use the word laya the world doesn't retain its retain its identity and retaining its identity and does not enter into brahma which is separate from it to show this he is using this the laya is actually mithya to show this he says na alatam pravishanti te iti similarly why now continuing is continues then he says na nirgataha alata te they have not moved away from the alata also once again he says that they have not moved away from the alata also like we are entering into the house we can move out of the house so like that they cannot move away from the alata also why drive dravyatva abhava yogataha because they don't have a separate existent as a dravya an entity separate from the alata pattern is one entity dravya alata is another dravya like that there is no such connection between the two dravyatva abhava the uh, the patterns didn't have any dravyatvam in that they had no any tangibility in them they did not have any vastutvam in them they were only an appearance so if they were a separate vastu then it came out it can go inside again it can go out but they are not a separate entity other than the alata the glowing tip therefore dravyatva abhava yogataha is the logic because they don't have a separate entity of existence as an ex- there is they don't have an existence as a separate entity they neither entered nor they got out of the alata everything will be same for vijnanam also the last line second line says up to the one and a half verses is about alata the second is connecting the alata and the vijnanam the consciousness last line vijnane api tataivasyu in with reference to vijnana also all these abhasas all of them will be exactly like that what they did not come from elsewhere into the vijnanam and they did not go from the vijnanam elsewhere they did not go anywhere else they did not enter into vijnanam they did not get out of the vijnanam all the four are not there why those patterns are abhasas for alata similarly the entire world of objects dvaitam is abhasa with reference to vijnanam so abhasatvam is common they are no reality they are only an appearance 
the patterns were only an appearance they were only an abhasa these are also only abhasa so the those abhasas did not come from elsewhere they did not go away from somewhere they did not enter into it they did not get out of it like that these abhasa because they are also abhasa vijnana abhasa ha these abhasas did not come from elsewhere existing somewhere other and entering into it they did not go away from this abhas vijnana anywhere they did not enter into a, the vijnana separately they cannot get out of this vijnana separately all these are same because that is also abhasa this is also abhasa iti he proved then he gives the same three lines he will give again for the vijnana so vijnane spandamane vai na bhasa ha anyato bhuva ha same vijnana spandanam how is a spandanam maya ya spandanam spandanam eva spandanam no real spandanam as those spandanam due to the maya shakti avidya so vid vijnane spandamane vai na bhasa ha anyato bhuva ha when the what is this spandanam along with maya this brahman as in the srishti mode that is a spandanam with the maya shakti manifest now brahman has become ishvara and that ishvara is in the mode of srishti in that is called spandamane vai vijnane spandamane vai na abhasa ha anyato bhuva ha from somewhere they have not entered into this vijnana tato na na tato nyatra nispandat they don't go away from this when that vijnanam is no more spandanam when in pralaya in the pralaya avastha they did not go away elsewhere they did not go away elsewhere na tato anyatra nispandat na nirgataha anyatra no na tato nispandat anyatra nirgataha na tataha nispandat anyatra nirgataha when there is no spandanam that is when there is no srishti then na vijnanam vishanti they don't end during the laya they don't keep their own identity and enter into this vijnana they don't enter then again next time they don't they remain separately and they don't come out separately so therefore na nirgata aste vijnanat they are not again not entering not coming out of vijnanam then what na nirgata aste vijnanat dravyatva bhava ayogataha not having their own separate entity separateness as an entity not having a separate dravyatva bhava not existing as a separate entity they cannot do all of this they cannot come from outside they cannot go away somewhere else they cannot enter they cannot get out because all of them don't have any separateness in the form of a dravya that is they don't have a separate entity other than the vijnanam then then now the crucial point karya karanata bhavat yato achintya sadaivate let me read the whole verse again na nirgata aste vijnana dravyatva bhava yogatah karya karanata bhavat yato chintya sadaivate so na nirgataha te vijnanat dravyatva bhava ayogatah they don't have a separate they don't exist as a separate entity they don't have a separate dravyatvam the nature of being a separate entity they don't have therefore they cannot get in and they cannot get out we have said then karya karanata abhavat there is no karya karanata also in this whole process for this abhasas to come and resolve back into brahman therefore what achintyaha sadaivate they are sadaiva achintyaha means anirvachaniya there is no real karya karana bhava between vijnana and the abhasa vijnana is not karanam and this is not the karyam not there maya ya avidya ya eva there is a abhasa and they are achintyaha you cannot think of them as existent or you cannot think of them as non existent that is achintyaha means sadasad vilakshanena chintanam is not possible they exist or they do not exist asti va na asti va iti they are achintyaha because there is no karya karanata bhava not only jati is negated 
not only ajati is established there is no karya karanata bhava between this vijnanam shuddha chaitanyam brahma and this entire prapancha even the karya karanata bhava is not there again you will say brahma is jagat karanam you will say yato va imani bhutani jayante we already said that is for people who are afraid of this advitiya jnana who are afraid of this truth of advaitam for them to make them come in steps it was told the truth is there is no karya karana there is no karyam there is no karanam brahma is not karanam the world is not the karyam brahma doesn't have karanatvam brahm world doesn't have karyatvam because karya and karana bhava itself is not there that itself is mithya there is not even that much difference in brahma which is changeless avikriya niravayava ajaha shantaha this is the truth so shankara con- concludes yata asatsu rijva rijvadi abaseshu rijvadi buddhihi drishta alata matre tata asatsu eva jatyadishu vijnana matre jatyadi buddhihi mrsha eva iti samudayartha really there is no patterns rijvadi akara are not there but the rijvadi buddhi is present because alata is there alata matre satsu alasa mat alata matre they are really not being there rijvadi akara all the patterns are really not there but they seem to exist because alata is there similarly asatsu eva jatyadeshu really there is no srishti stiti laya or the world or anything but as though they are there it is there only because vijnanam is there so even that mithya understanding of there is a seeming world seeming thing that is also is given existence only through brahma brahma gives existence that only just like the akaras which are not there because the alata is there it so it seems as though it is there similarly this srishti sthiti laya of the world is not there at all but because brahman is there you have a buddhi as though they are there this is the total meaning of this alata concept of alata as told by gaudapada acharya in the mandukya upanishad one more thought i would like to share on superficial analysis it looks as though this ajatitvam is opposed to brahma lakshanam in the taitriya which i already mentioned taitriya upanishad yato vayamani bhutani jayante yena jatani jivanti yat prayanti abhisamshanti iti but it is not so why there very interesting point there vastu is pointed out as vivarta upadana karana vastu means what is really existent what is satyam is only satyam jnanam anantam brahma that manifests as this whole world sustains the whole world the whole world re- resolves into it that means what in spite of the srishti sthiti laya brahma remained brahma and the brahma was present as vivarta that's what he said alata matre here he said no alata matre these are there vijnana matre the jagat is there so what you see as jagat is brahman what you see as the patterns is the alata so vivartatvam was told that side here what is told is vivartatvam is pointed out by saying jatyadi are not there at all they are the two sides of the same coin to show what is satyam is only brahma there that brahma without undergoing any change became the whole world so vivartatvam vivarta upadanatvam was told and how is it vivartam these are not there only iti the the vivartatvam that was told as a vivarta upadana karanatvam that vivartatvam is established here by saying it has not undergone any change but still it appears as the world iti that vivartatvam is told here through the ajatiwada through the alata example by the gaudapada acharya so with that we will stop om pur namada pur namidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hi हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः
हरि ही ओम थैंक यू एवरीबॉडी फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी अगेन टू स्पीक ऑन दिस प्रेस्टिजियस फोरम अद्वैत अकेडमी इंडिका मोक्षा इट हैज ऑलवेज बीन अ प्लेजर टू कम इन टू दिस फोरम एंड इंटरैक्ट विथ ऑल ऑफ यू आई थैंक ऑल द ऑर्गेनाइजर्स आई थैंक ऑल द पीपल हु मेड दिस हु मेक दिस फेस्टिवल पॉसिबल ईयर आफ्टर ईयर एंड लेट एस कंटिन्यू दिस ग्रेट वर्क एंड आई लुक फॉरवर्ड टू अगेन joining with you in any more of your programs thank you very much thank you so much dhanyavadaha swamini brahma prakashananda saraswati ji that was such a wonderful presentation your passion for the subject your depth of understanding of this this particular prakarana was just incredible and uh, you your your delivery style was like a professor and your command of both the the uh, sanskritam the uh, complex concepts and the ease at with which you presented in english is truly truly inspiring and commendable thank you so much for sending us the video with with the force with the foresight that uh, Uh, you know there may be technical issues we sincerely appreciate it sincerely appreciate your your uh, support for this global festival and your willingness to to keep coming back and share your wisdom with the rest of us as we celebrate the greatness of sanatana dharma and the essence of the life and works of adi shankara thank you once again swamini swamini ji uh to everyone listening and attending this this fantastic month long global festival uh, please tell your friends and your family members to come join and create massive awareness of the greatness of jagat guru adi shankara and his gurus and and uh, today we heard we heard from godapada acharyas mandukya upanishads treatises thank you once again we'll see you again in our next session which is the evening session at 7 pm indian standard time and the topic is teaching vedanta for children by mrs deepa baskaran we are looking forward to seeing you all once again thank you very much and have a wonderful day namaste hari om